All right, I gotta clean out dust on this fuck. How did it, dude, how does it get this fucking dusty? Like, this is just disgusting. Like, if your computer looks like this, not happening, dude. No, that's not drama. The Verge PC build isn't drama. That's just retardation. Like, I'm sorry, dude. What the fuck did the Verge think when they were building that fucking thing? Like, actually, you know, fuck it. Let's watch that video again. I know it's old school. Let's watch it. That, that video gets me every fucking time. Because it's literally filmed by an actual smooth brain, like, who thought they knew what they were doing. Let's let's watch the Verge PC build video, because it's actually one of the dumbest videos I've ever seen. Hey, we're we're going to actually watch that one. I, I, I haven't seen it in a while, and I'm I'm ready for, for a good fucking laugh, you know? I'm, I'm ready for a good fucking laugh. Where's the original video? Verge PC build. Uh, Re-upload. Because obviously they fucking removed the original one. Here it is. So a few years ago, TC, or managing editor, built a gaming desktop. But it's kind of out of date, and it's definitely not going to hold up for Battlefield 5. So let's build a new one. Why the fuck would you even want to play that in the first place? But go ahead. You can build a gaming desktop for around $1,000, but I want to go all out, so I spent around 2000 Two grand? Sure, buddy. Let's see what you bought. This is going to be able to play most games at ultra settings. So, what do you need to build a desktop? Well, of course, first you need a table. Preferably... <laughs> it's like a fucking Howcast video, you know? Uh, so, when you're going out camping, what do you need to cook? A fire? <laughs> no shit. It's going to be metal, have an anti -static Oh, fuck. Wait, you can't hear it? Hold on a second. If you can't hear it, let me, uh, let it re-enable Synergy real quick. Here. This layered on top of it, a thermal paste applicator, an Allen wrench, some tweezers to tight up the wires, a Swiss... I have never used a thermal paste applicator. I have never used an Allen key. And I've only used cable ties. Darmy knife, Those which two hopefully are has a Phillips head screwdriver in it. And last but not least, an anti-static bracelet. You never use an anti-static wrist brand. Do, it, it, just, just ground yourself. Just to protect. Just touch you some fucking and metal. Ground yourself. These are the parts you're gonna need. But more importantly, before we get there, we need to understand what these parts are doing and how they interact with one another. To better understand the parts that make up a desktop, let's try to understand them individually. The processor is like the computer's brain, a base of calculations that control everything the computer does. The motherboard is like the foundation, serving as a main structure for all other parts to be added to. It also allows the other parts to communicate with one another, which also makes it kind of like a nervous system. Graphics cards are responsible for rendering and processing visuals into what you see. Okay. See He's right screen. so far. Our PC's power supply is, of course, channeling electricity, in that it adjusts and provides the right Yeah, we're gonna have to forward to this one a little bit. That's a little too much. <laughs> of short-term and long-term okay. memory, respectively. If you want to better understand what kind of computer to build, then first figure out what you want to use it for. Okay. Let's see what it. A see. gamer might care more about a graphics card than, say, a video editor who might want extra RAM to assist with editing large files no i i think video editors also care about the cpu a bit more like ram's important don't get me wrong but when no actually this whole graph is fucking stupid if you're a video editor can can we just be honest here all this shit needs to be like a big giant these these squares need to all be the size of fucking uh like north dakota or some shit you know like they need to be state sized because all of this is incredibly important for sure like ram is important for video editors but we really want a good graphic card and we need a fucking high like this is where like those thread rippers we like come over because we need that CPU threat. We need we need everything. This is insane. If you're building a budget build for video streaming, say under a thousand dollars, you want to focus on parts like a Core i5 or Core i3 processor. Wait, what? Hold on term memory, respectively. If you want to better understand what kind of computer to build, then first figure out what you want to use it for. A gamer might care more about a graphics card than, say, a video editor who might want extra RAM to assist with editing large files. If you're building a budget build for video streaming, say, under $1,000, you want to focus on parts like a Core i5 or Core i3 process. Core i3 for video streaming? i5? i3 for video streaming? Are you... <sighs> Oh, that's gonna hurt. Processor that require less energy. They'll be. Motherfucker, when is energy important? You need power. Less powerful, but then you'll be able to scale back the cost of several other parts. And if you. Bro! <laughs> How is it 
<laughs> I think it would be that expensive. The square would be smaller. You would have... Okay. If you need help choosing the right sure, parts man. for your build, there are sites like PCPartPicker.com that help show presets for which parts fit together, which sort of part conflicts you might have, and okay. where to find deals on new parts. We have a lot of boxes and a lot of PC parts, so it's best if you unbox them, isolate the parts that you really need, place items into the case, and make sure that they all fit, and then start working. And now we're really going to start building by adding the motherboard in. Some notes about installing motherboards, they're really delicate, you should be really careful with them. And screw in with confidence, but also don't screw in too hard, otherwise you could crack the board. I chose Asus's Z3... I hate it when like these PC guys tell you it's super sensitive. <laughs> I probably built a shit ton of computers, and I've been pretty rough with my fucking motherboards. <laughs> but like, I don't think I've ever broken the motherboard. Like, I don't think I've ever screwed so hard. Like fucking... You know, like, mm, anger and like broke the motherboard. What? Has anyone ever broke it? I don't, I don't think I have. That's a, uh... sure. Okay, cool. 7-0 motherboard for two main reasons. How do you crack One, it has built-in oh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And also it has support for NVMe SSDs, meaning you can get really fast SSDs that are really easy to install. Pay close attention to the brace that goes at the back of the computer you always have to make sure that you really hammer it in because there's Wait, the SSDs brace, right? meaning you can get really fast SSDs that are really easy to install pay close attention to the brace that goes at the back of the computer you always have to make sure that you really hammer it in because there's no screw it really just has to go outside of the case it just fucking clicks doc it's not that much and clasp <laughs> onto the frame and this is very important because otherwise you can't align the motherboard correctly with the holes. We're just going to start installing all eight screws. They're not, they're, they're standoffs, but okay. Sorry, I get kind of anal about that. They're standoffs. So next we're going to install the RAM on the motherboard. I chose Corsair's 16 gigabyte. Yeah, wait, why did he call it a brace? That shit was an IO shield, but okay. LED RAM for two main reasons. Like, I mean, I guess One, it's it whatever. If you want to call it a brace, call it a brace. lights cool. in our gaming desktops. Secondly, uh, it's pretty fast RAM. It's 2,666 megahertz, I believe. <laughs> so it's pretty fast, and this motherboard supports that speed, which is most important. Open the slot. Uh, that motherboard supports way more than that speed, but okay. It's first, and just aligning the stick with the middle of the strip, not with the end, and just lining that up with the logo. So once you hear that solid clasp and you don't see the gold connectors on the side anymore, that's when okay. you know the RAM is in. Step three, we're going to install the hard drive. Or in this case, the end- Wait, whoa, 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 what? Wait a minute, can I, can, can we like fucking, wait a minute. Wait, that's one stick you know of RAM. RAM is in. Step three, we're gonna- Did he just put them right next to each other? Oh, dude! <laughs> He just fucked it up. That's not dual channel memory. <laughs> That's not dual channel. You fucked it up. Oh my God. Okay, so you don't put the RAM next to each other. You put the RAM, like, let's say you put, first of all, you see where the CPU is? That's your first DIMM slot. So you put your first stick of RAM closest to the CPU. Then you skip a gap and then you go to the next DIMM slot because that's what enables dual channel memory. If you just put them right next to each other, yes, it'll actually recognize the RAM stick, but it won't run in dual channel, which effectively cuts its fucking speed. Like it's, come on, dude, come on. What the fuck? It's like a simple thing. Or in this case, the NVMe oh, SSD. Dude. I chose this format of solid the state light drive bulb in the head so that might I could input it into the motherboard without having to worry about extra wires or putting it in a separate part of the case and just getting really messy. This is from Kingston and it's 480 gigabytes, so it's not a lot, but you can always upgrade this and swap it out and it's only held down by one screw and the latch. So it's really simple and really straightforward. Speed for gaming is important when it comes like to a hard drive. Just, just, you want files to write quickly not that and you want on. games to load quickly. So that's why it's best if you use an SSD. Okay. So By the step... way, I feel like I feel am I the only one that sort of like test benches the motherboard before I actually put it in the case? Like I actually put in the CPU and like I connect it to like the PSU and I connect it to everything. Uh, and then I actually like first I, I post it so like I know the motherboard and the CPU isn't wrong. Then I put it in the actual like system. Is that I feel like I feel I don't know. That's how I build, but okay. Four, we're going like to I put in all the I put in all the components I chose to like PNY's test it GTX first. 1080, which is overclocked. 
And so it's a pretty easy installation. You're just gonna find the gold connectors and you're gonna line this bracket with the back end bracket of your PC case. Now, which lane you choose depends entirely on what other yeah, parts Yeah, I feel like everyone does system. that. I'm just gonna pick the top one because the SSD is at the bottom and I don't wanna cover it. I just think it looks nice. Click down. No, I feel so many, I've seen so many people building PCs brackets, where they just straight stick it into the case and go in the for spots it. That you haven't used. I tend to post my shit first. You don't have to screw and these in. I think in. Linus does it. They get bolted down by the back end bracket. And your GPU is installed. Okay, power supply go. time. Power I supply? chose Corsair's cool. 850 watt power supply because I need enough headroom for ray tracing GPUs when they come out and I don't want to have to upgrade it again. Wait, how much did he so put all you have to 800? Do is take the brick and... 850? Are you fucking insane? That's a lot, dude. I mean, I have a 750 watt in mine and I'm still running two GPUs. And I don't have any power issues. That's a lot of wattage. I mean, that's like that's like if I bought two fucking RTX 2080 Ti's and I'm fucking definitely, I'm definitely full loading both of them. Okay. I mean, Make sure I'm, that you I'm align it that with these little care, insulating pads cool. so that the power supply doesn't short circuit just and come overkill. into contact with the rest of the system. So just take it in, slide it in nice and easy until you have a snug fit and then shift it to the back and make sure it's right up against the frame. Now you just take the required screws and you tighten and screw in. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. What? What's the point of the fucking anti-static bracelet if you haven't connected it to anything to ground yourself with? He's He literally didn't use the anti-static bracelet right. He didn't ground himself. What the fuck is the point? What? That, that's that's like a fucking bro moment right there. <laughs> okay. Back and make sure it's this right up dumb. against the frame. <laughs> okay. Now you just take the required screws and you tighten and screw in. So next step, we're going to install the CPU core. In this case, it's gonna go on the top end of the case and we're just gonna have the hose hang out for a little while until we install the processor. Is that, that's not even an anti-static bracelet. I'm pretty sure he just has like a rubber bracelet on it. It's gonna come a little an bit. One. Always be sure to try to place it in the system first okay. before you install it, because you can see it takes up a lot of space. But in this case, no pun intended, it fits in perfectly and we're gonna start screwing it in. And so there's nothing special about this screwing in process. They're just really... I actually had to move the fans on my case to the top. Just... Long wait, screws wait, because... did he not talk about, um... Did he not talk about airflow? That's kind of important. Does he know, like... It, it, like, he's fucking things up a lot. Does he know that, like, there's a certain way you put in fans where you intake and outtake air? Does he know about, like, intake-outtake design? Because, like, you have to intake the air, and then you have to outtake it from the top. Like, he knows that heat... Okay. He might as well just fucked over his cooling solution. Who knows? Cooler, and they take forever. So, next up, cables. Every power supply is going to come with a big bag of Velcro cables. It's I don't think kind of daunting <laughs> okay. at first, so you always have to find the ones that are going to fit. In this case, you need to match those cables with the correct descriptions on the power supply. Next step is we're connecting the power supply to the motherboard. They got the fucking intern to connect the power cables. With the 24-pin cable. <laughs> 100%. We're just matching that cable no, from the motherboard, the intern threading told it through the back, it. and attacking the 24-pin header to the power yeah, supply. Yeah, he also put the so PSU on the One of the connections down, complete. Cool. Yeah, the next few additions will be for the GPU, for any specific ports that the case has, for any lighting that the case has, the CPU cooler, the anything. Where are his fans? Like, I know he has a radiator, but like... Is he gonna go fanless? Like, okay. Anything else, really. We're installing the CPU, the heart of the computer or the brain, depending on how you look at it. So to do this, we're just gonna remove the plastic covering that they put on the motherboard. I wanna see what his we're build is. Take this little plastic how much, how part is this two out. grand? This doesn't look like a $2,000 build, dude. And Wait, what? now we have, it's gonna take this little plastic part out. We'll just toss that out of here. You, what? You fucking, you fucking keep that. That's a, that's a, that's the fucking CPU guard. You fucking dumbass. You put it in the box. <laughs> Why? And now. Why did he even remove it? Why the CPU fuck? Oh, I get it. Like, why? On the motherboard. The fuck, and we're going to use the CPU applicator. This is a special little part that not everyone may get, but this motherboard that we got from Asus 
definitely does have. It's called the CPU installation tool. It makes it really useful if you yeah, want to like, install... it's like the fucking training wheels. Like, hey, we... We gotta account for every retard mine. A Core i7 right. Hexacore CPU. Yeah, we've got one, and it's an 8th generation chip, and it's ready to go, and it supports overclocking. So what having this little wait, installer wait, does for you is to go, and it supports over Core i7 Hexacore CPU. Yeah, we've got one, and it's an 8th... He's like, Core i7 CPU. Like it's, like, it's like he's flexing on everyone. It's like he's just like, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, dude. I, I know what supports overclocking. I'm not a fucking retard. <laughs> we, we know. Do you think he knows how to overclock it? It's a generation chip, and it's ready to go. Do you go, think he knows how to overclock? And it supports overclocking. So what having this little installer does for you is it's basically a brace that you can apply right to the CPU and light it up with the triangles that you'll see on the bottom left corners. And this will make it easier for us to apply it to the motherboard and then apply thermal paste. You know you don't put that much thermal paste on there, right? Like, if it, like, starts spilling off, you get some issues. Just put a fucking dot in the center or X of the most and just let your CPU cooler handle it. And then apply a CPU I mean, whatever, though. Whatever, right? Like, and I'm not the one making this PC. I'm just laughing. And we're going to lean it down into the system and make sure that everything lines up. And we're going to clasp down on it Yo, and we'll be good to go. wait a minute. And make sure that, that almost gave me lines this up. almost gave me a bit of a heart attack. And we're just Look gonna at this carefully real quick. lean it down into the system and make sure that everything lines up. Yo, that that gives me a little heart attack. You see how it like up. jumps up a little bit? That gave me a little heart attack. I ain't gonna lie. You didn't tell you to like apply it by like matching the fucking arrows. Ooh, that and gave me that gave me a little that gave me a little. So we're about to apply thermal paste to the CPU. Every CPU cooler actually comes with a bit of thermal paste already You're neatly right. applied in right. a circle around it, but Wait, what? CPU. Every CPU cooler actually comes with a bit of thermal paste already neatly applied in a circle around it, but it's usually not enough. It's good, essentially PC building. Wait, what? I don't. I don't really remember that, but okay practice to have a little bit extra and layer it on top of the CPU. The final portion is to add the CPU. What the fuck is he going for? Like a Star of David CPU cooler? What the fuck? Just put one fucking dot in the center or an X. God, dude. The You're hurting final me. portion <laughs> is to add the CPU cooler to the top end of the processor. So you're going to see that there are four brackets. Dude, bra what the fuck? Is that like art attack? Dude, are you looking at that CPU? Holy fucking shit. They're like screws Bro, in here with brackets. Relax. <laughs> relax. It, that doesn't right cool here. that. And they're Stop going to it. keep the cooler raised <laughs> off the processor. Does he not it's... know? Like, what is he doing? Also going to be close enough. Bro, you're to not caking it yet. You got to overclock. It, basically oh, dude, keep that's cool. embarrassing. Take thumb screws like this <laughs> and just doing? screw them on so now that our internals are done we're gonna put all the panels oh, that fucking the top glass to side at, glass bro. front glass and of course the back panel where all this fun stuff is happening so we fully built the pc everything's put together yeah, and bet. we got to the post screen so what's next well you need a usb flash drive with your windows installation media on it and of course a license key so i plug that up Installed Windows in a couple of minutes, installed a bunch of drivers, and now we have- Dude, don't act like you're a Chad. Windows Update did it for you. <laughs> of a fully functioning gaming PC ready to run some games. Right now, oh, I've got yeah, I've seen, I've running, seen running at maximum settings, native resolution, which is 1080p HD, and it's running pretty smoothly. Like, uh, um, I'm averaging 70 and 80 FPS, and this is normally like a very intensive game to run. And it's still doing a pretty good job. Wait, what, so right what now resolution I'm playing League of Legends, are you on 1080? Any and 80 FPS, and this is pretty smoothly. Like, um, I'm averaging 70 and 80 FPS, and this is normally like a very intense 1080p HD. Native resolution, which is 1080p HD. 1080p and 75 frames? And 1080p and 75 like, frames. Um, I'm averaging 70 and 80. Bro, 1080. What graphic card did you get, like dog? Very That's a game what? Run. And it's still doing a pretty <laughs> good job. So right now I'm playing League of Legends. It's one of my favorite games. I'm actually playing against a bot. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, Omega fucking lol. Pay two grand to play League. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, dude. Oh, dude, fist my ass and call me Muda. God damn. <laughs> They don't make memes this good, dude. It'll, it'll make, it'll make this that good, dude. And I'm distracted, so I'm not actually doing so well. But um, otherwise, like this is pretty much what, what you would see. What is he doing? He do on a gaming computer. Bro, I don't even play League, but I can see your face. Did he just lose out, to the bot? And hopefully, have really high frame rates like I am right now. I'm averaging 120 FPS, and that's only. <laughs> because I've actually locked the game. <laughs> Imagining enabling VSync on a competitive game. <laughs> oh, mega lol, dude. To that frame rate, because I can get <laughs> around 300 FPS playing League on maximum settings, which is a little bit absurd, and... Really? Only 300? You mean the native lock? Okay. And you don't really need that, so I locked it. Building a gaming desktop has been a great experience. I'm able to max out a lot of the, my favorite titles, and I'll be able to play a lot of upcoming- Guys, I was playing Spider Solitaire at 1080p, 300 frames. Coming titles like Battlefield 5 and Cyberpunk 2077, without worrying too much about the parts I have. When ray tracing GPUs come out, for example, I'll be able to upgrade without having to buy a completely new system, and if I have- You spent two grand- Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. That was two grand before? He didn't have a ray trace GPU? This, uh, this, <laughs> you, think, you think somebody like told him the price on those? He's like, man. You, th you, think, you think somebody told him the price on a fucking RTX 2080? And he was just like, yeah, it's going to be a short, it's like small. You think. You think, <laughs> you think anybody fucking told him that? Hey, but it's been some time in folly. I wanted to make sure my first donation ever. Oh, thank you, PSC4. Jesus. Thanks to you, I ran my first Linux machines. And thank God I didn't follow this video. Wait, you're running your first Linux and you're using Arch? Good shit, dude. Congratulations. <laughs> this guy. No problem down the line. I can always no, just swap wasted. out a part and have it serviced rather than losing my whole computer. And of course, now we also have a computer to test and benchmark games here at The Verge. <laughs> They're gonna fucking benchmark with that? You're gonna fucking benchmark like that, dog? Okay. Do I get reset bugs? No, I patched my kernel. So there's a AMD reset be, uh, reset Thanks bug patch kernel like floating Let me know around. If you can probably find it on the level one tech forums. Uh, patch your kernel with that, and you should be fine. Computer before yourself, or how you would spend two thousand dollars on your own build. I'm really interested in seeing what sort of parts you guys would get. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Verge if you haven't already. Subscribe to The Verge. So a few years ago, TC or managing. Right, that that's that that's that's too much. That is too much to handle, dude. That's old. That's old too weird, champ dog. Yeah, his cable man his cable management was ever, dude. But like the actual system, bro. I don't know. Yeah, Minecraft, dude. Gaming runs better underneath. I would say Linux for the most part. Like I'll I'll show you. I'll, like, aside from some of the newer games, it really like you tend to get into a fucking issue. But like. Gaming has gotten a lot better on Linux, guys. Like, actually, it's gotten so much better on Linux. Like, I can show you just as a quick excerpt. Like, if you're on Linux right now as, like, a fucking Linux gamer, the time is to be alive. Like, here's just Monster Hunter World. I have it running through, like, Proton. All you got to do is hit Play Dog. This is, like, a Windows 10 game. Just, like, watch it. It's so fucking solid. Hi, Tina Tina. All caps aren't right there, dude. Wait, wait. He called us Angry Nerds? Oh, dude, what a fucking pussy. We're angry nerds because, like, you're fu you fucking... What? Oh, man, dude. Imagine fucking... He can't even hold the L? Dog. 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 Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. This guy, man. We're not angry nerds. You just, like, tried acting like it. Like, that's a sponsored video, by the way. That's a sponsored fucking video. Capital One. That's a... Wait, he called... Ra he called us racists? Yo, somebody... What's what's the Twitter handle? I, no, I don't know if I can... I'm not going to go through the fucking 
cancel culture bullshit, like digging out old tweets type nonsense. I'm just going to be honest with you. Like, bro, learn how to build a PC. All right, simple as that. Simple as that.